find the elongation of the bar. Take modulus of elasticity for steel as 200 GP. Okay. So first of all, consider member AB. Okay. Consider member AB. Consider member AB. Okay. So before that, we need to calculation area. So diameter of AB bar it is 15 diameter and CD it is also 15. So A1 is equal to A3 is equal to 5 by 4 into 15 square. Okay. We need to calculate area of this 5 by 4 into 15 square. 5 by 4 into 15 square. The diameter it is 15 in square divided by 4. Divided by 4. Divided by 4. Divided cross sectional area of this bar. Okay. A3 and A4 it is 5 by 4 into 16 square. Sorry, 15 square. It will be 176. 176 is equal to 176.714 7 1 mm square mm square okay so cross sectional area of bc bar that is you can say it is a2 area of a2 is equal to 5 by 4 into 20 square 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 20 square, 20 square divided by 4, divided by 4, divided by 4. It will be get 5 by 4 into 20 square, 5 by 4 into 20 square. So this one it is C14.15, C14.15 mm square, mm square. The area A1 and A2. So now consider member AB, AB, now consider member AB. So load it is applied here, 15 kilonewton. So this one it is 15 kilonewton, sorry, 20 kilonewton load it is applied at A, at A, kilonewton. Okay. So this one it is member AB. They are considered first a member AB. Okay, so just to apply, for balancing purpose, same load in opposite direction, same quantity. So it will be 20 kilo. 20 kilo. So at B we are applied, this is extra load. You can say this one it is extra load. So that's why C1 is equal to so for tensile will take plus value, 20 kilo. Okay. Now consider member BC. Member BC. Okay. Member BC. So length it is 2 meter. So this one it is B, C, B and C. Okay. So at C we are applying one extra load, 20 kilo. Just first of all, remove this load. Okay. So we will remove this load, 20 kilo. Okay. So this one it is extra load we are applying. This just will remove this, 20 kilo. Okay. okay. 20 kilo. 20 kilo. Okay. So actual at B it will be 5 kilo meter. Load it is towards the B 5 kilometer towards the B. This one is 5 kilometer. 5 kilometer. This one, of course, it is 5 kilometer. Okay, so 20 minus 20 minus 5 it will be 15 kilonewton. It is applied this at C, it will be extra for balancing purpose. We apply 15 kilonewton extra load that is it, is, it will be at B. 20 minus 5, it will be 15 kilo newton. 15 kilo newton. Okay. So we can say it will be P2 is equal to P2 is equal to 15 kilo newton. P2 is equal to 15 kilo newton. So now consider member CD. Member CD. It will be one, one meter length. Member CD. C and D. So this one it is C. And this one it is D. Okay. At C, we have applied one extra load. Just first of all, remove this extra load opposite of this force. Okay. This one it is 15 kilonewton. We have applied extra, just we will remove at here 15 kilonewton. Okay. 
the actual c it will be 10 kN and it will be opposite side of okay? 10 kN. So this one it is 10 kN. 10 plus 15, it will get 25 kiloton away from the point. So we will apply opposite of this. It will be get same force. So what we have applied here at D, it will be 25. 25 kiloton. 25 kiloton. Okay. So it will get P3 is equal to, P3 is equal to how much? 25 kiloton. So all these are tensile force. So that's why we have taken positive value. If it is inclined, if it is compression, then we will take it will be negative value. Okay. So we'll calculate change in length formula. Delta L is equal to delta L1 plus delta L2 plus delta L. So delta L1 for it will be A B. Delta L1 plus delta L2. Change in length member B C. Then delta L plus Delta L. Delta L. Delta L. Okay. A is equal to apply it. Delta L1, it is P1 into L1 divided by. We will take modulus of elasticity will be same value for this time. Okay. For this. A, B, B, C, C, D, 1 by E, it will be same. Modulus of electricity, it will be same. Okay. 1 by E. 1 by E. Okay. So 1 by E. In bracket. P1. E1 into L1 divided by E1 into L1 divided by A1 A1 and plus plus P2 plus P2 into L2 divided by A2 divided by A2 divided by A2 a2 then plus last one it is p3 p3 into l3 divided by divided by a3 divided by a3 divided by a3 bracket close bracket close so now put all this value here. I will write down here. Is equal to is equal to so one by e one by e it will be value four hundred gigapascal. So four hundred gigapascal converted it is in newton per mm square. So it will get same value divided by divided by p one it is p one it is two hundred. Sorry, 20 kilonewton, 20 into kilonewton, 20 L1, it is one meter, convert it is in mm, 1000 mm divided by A1, it is 126.71, 176.71, plus, then plus P2, it is P2 force it will be 15 kilonewton, 15 into L2 it is 2000 meter to convert mm 2000 divided by divided by A2 it will be P14.15 P14 P14.15 then plus then plus P3 it will be also it will be 25 kilometer. So 25 into and it is also 1000 mm divided by divided by it is also 176 point 176.71 mm. okay. bracket close bracket close 
will we get total change in length? Okay. First of all, calculate one by one. 20 into 1000 divided by 176, 176.71. Okay. Into divided by 176.71. Okay, one one. is equal to one by two hundred. One by two hundred. One by two hundred. In bracket. In bracket. The first term value to be get one one three point one seven nine one seven nine. Then second one it will be fifteen into two thousand divided by three one four point one five. It will be ninety five point ninety five point four nine four nine. Then plus twenty five into one thousand divided by one seventy six point seven one. It will be one forty one point four seven four seven. So addition of all these four steps will be a total change in that divided by 2000. Okay. So delta L is equal to total elongation is equal to 113.179 plus 95.4974. Okay. So it will be 175. So total elongation is equal to it will be total elongation is equal to total elongation is equal to 1.750 1.750 m 1.750 m so this one it is total elongation of four meter long so this load it is very Length it is also very, then cross sectional area it is also very. Okay. 